So this was a really interesting case. A six-year-old female neutered imported to the UK from Greece a number of years ago. Had a previous diagnosis of leishmaniasis, which is being treated with allopurinol and a recent diagnosis of capillaria plica, which is bladder worm, not something commonly diagnosed in the UK. So here's what we saw when we were scanning the left kidney. So we've got the cortex and the medulla here. We can't really see the pelvis area. Um, and that's because it's completely obscured. We've got this hyperechoic area casting a um, an acoustic shadow beneath it, suggesting that we've got mineralization here. So we've got a huge nephrolith here. And again, um, same kidney. So we've got the cortex out here and then the medulla. And then in this pelvis area, we've got this enormous nephrolith. Just fanning through this left kidney, um, can see this large nephrolith within it. Seeing it in, in transverse also fanning through, um, we can see this acoustic shadow falling beneath the nephrolith. When we were scanning the bladder, we found this um, um, uh, structure within it that seemed to have a soft tissue opacity to it. Um, we've got a reasonably thin bladder wall on the outside. Um, so we're wondering whether this could be um, a polyp or a tumour from the bladder wall or um, what this could be. So what we really want to do is assess whether it falls to the gravity dependent side um, and whether it has any blood flow within it. So with this bladder um, structure we applied Doppler and we could see there was no flow in it. We could assess that it easily fell to the dependent side and given the recent treatment it this dog had had to um, treat for bladder worm, um, we decided that this was likely due to um, blood clots within the bladder. So in this case, we found nephrolithiasis in both kidneys. There was no sign of dilated ureters, so it wasn't causing a blockage. No dilated pelvis as far as we could see with fluid anyhow. Allo Purinol seemed the likely cause of nephrolithiasis, especially given this paper that I've referred to down the bottom. Adverse urinary effects of allopurinol in dogs with leishmaniasis seemed to confirm that this is a, a known side effect. And the bladder contained a large blood clot. There was no blood flow in it and it fell to the dependent side. So fairly confident that that was a blood clot in the bladder. The dog was referred for surgery to remove the nephroliths and they had good success with nephrolith removal as long as it was under six centimetres in length.